we're asked to determine the fraction for each indicated mark on the inch ruler. Looking at the ruler, notice from here to here is one inch, and then it's cut or partitioned into small equal pieces. So if we start with the smallest piece, notice how we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen equal partitions in one inch, and therefore A would be one sixteenth. Now let's consider B. Using the smallest partition, we can count one, two, three, four pieces, or four sixteenths of an inch. But when expressing a fraction, we normally want to express a fraction in simplest form, meaning using the largest partitions possible. So if we clear these partitions, and take our inch, and divide it into four equal pieces, or four partitions, we would divide it here, here, and here. So each of these tick marks represents one-fourth of an inch, so we can say that B is equal to one-fourth. One-fourth would be the simplified fraction for four-sixteenths, which is normally the preferred method to express a fraction. But because these fractions are equal, with different numerators and denominators, they are called equivalent fractions. Now let's consider C. If we stick with the partitions of one-fourth, we could say C is equal to one-two-fourths. But again, we can use a larger partition to express this fraction. Notice if we cleared this partition and this partition, and now we have two equal partitions of one inch, and therefore each piece or each partition is one-half of an inch. So we can say C is equal to one-half. One half would be the simplified form of two fourths, even though these are equivalent fractions. Now let's consider D. If we clear these partitions, we could always go back to the partitions of one sixteenth of an inch. So if we start here and end here and count by sixteenths, we'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen sixteenths would be the fraction for D, but it's not in simplest form because we can express this using larger partitions. So if we cut this in half, and then half again, we're back to one-fourth partitions. Let's cut these in half as well. So we'll cut it here, 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 and here. Notice how we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight equal pieces, or eight equal partitions. And therefore, D would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighths in simplest form. I hope you found this helpful.